welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore imaging of arthrogram, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee or ankle, and radio diagnosis. An arthrogram uses imaging equipment to evaluate a joint like the shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee or ankle. It is a two-part procedure consisting of a contrast injection into the joint followed by an MRI or CT scan of the joint. An arthrogram is ordered to find tears, degeneration or disease in the cartilage, ligament or tendon. Detect growths or synovial cysts in the joint. Diagnose unexplained joint pain. Determine the need for treatment, including arthroscopy, surgery or joint replacement. An arthrogram provides a clear image of the soft tissue in the joint, example ligaments and cartilage, so that a more accurate diagnosis about an injury or cause of a symptom, such as joint pain or swelling, can be made. The gadolinium in the contrast fluid yields a bright signal on T1, weighted images allowing for better evaluation of the joint capsule, the articular surface of the bones and, in particular, the labral cartilage. Steps of an arthrogram injection Check for allergies, and if on blood thinner, S. Consent. Optimize patient positioning. Optimize imaging and mark skin. Clean skin and draw up appropriate medications. Local anesthesia along the proposed needle path. Obtain joint access with image guidance. Confirm an intra-articular position. Administer Mr. Arthrogram Injectate. Apply dressing slash band-aid. A radiologist, specialist doctor, injects the contrast medium into the joint using fluoroscopy, a special type of X-ray, computed tomography, CT scan, or ultrasound, to help guide the injection needle into the correct deposition. Once the injection is finished, images of the joint are taken using magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, or CT. While a plain MRI or CT can provide some information of the soft tissue structures, an arthrogram can sometimes provide much more detailed information about what is wrong within the joint. MRI arthrography is most often used in evaluation of the hip and acetabular labrum of the shoulder rotator cuff and glenoid labrum and less often in the wrist. The more commonly performed MRI arthrograms are of the shoulder and hip. A glenohumeral joint injection technique can either be performed from anterior 1, 2, 4 or posterior 5 approaches. The hip is injected from an anterior approach. Occasionally, an arthrogram is only used to confirm that an injection needle is correctly positioned in the joint. This is usually as part of a treatment of painful joints where medications or anesthetic need to be injected. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled nano degree program. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please share, like and subscribe British Biomedicine Institute channel. Good luck.